In this video, we're going to have a look at the Microsoft certifications and assessments for the Power Platform. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. The Power Platform consists of the Canvas apps, model-driven apps, Dataverse, Power BI, Power Automate, and much more. But how can you learn what is there? Well, the first protocol is, is Microsoft and their certifications and assessments. We'll start off with the PO900. This is all about the fundamentals. So this is for you if you want to know what is available, not necessarily how to do it. So this is good, for example, if you're just learning about the Power Platform, or if you're a manager and you don't really need to know how it is possible, you just need to know what is available. So if I scroll down, you can see that the skills measured are describe the business value of Microsoft Power Platform, the foundational components, and then Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and complementary solutions. For more details, you can click on the study guide and that will break it down into much more detail. For example, if we go down to Power BI, you'll need to identify basic Power BI components and build a basic dashboard by using Power BI. If we go down to the complementary components, You've got describe the capabilities of Power Virtual Agents, Power Pages, and the AI Builder. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Power Virtual Agents gets dropped relatively soon from the PL900 as it's now been renamed and moved out of the Power Platform. Now, why do I suggest looking at a certification? It's not necessarily for actually taking the exam itself, though that is useful and would be good on your CV or resume. Instead, it tells you what you should know about. So for the foundations, you should know about the capabilities of Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and other things. So the exam and the certificate, it's the result of testing you whether you know these items. And you can also test yourself with a free practice assessment. And you can also go to measureup.com for the official Microsoft Power Test. However, it's the learning about all of these topics which is more important so that you can actually use it in your work life. So you know how these power platform technologies improve processes and help drive business outcomes. So this is all about the theory. What if you wanted to do the practical? Well, I would suggest the PL100. So the PL100 is the app maker. It shows how you can actually use the things that you have learned about in the PO900. So if I scroll down, then it's all about design and manage business solutions, analyze and visualize data and create business solutions. And if I go into the study guide, you can see that it is about the Microsoft Dataverse, Power BI, but more importantly, model-driven apps, Canvas apps, and Power Automate Cloud Floors. So I say, this is where I would have gone. And if you are watching this video before June the 30th, 2024, then this may still be a viable route. And it's viable anyway to have the learning, but not for the exam and certification if you're looking at this in July 2024 or later. That's because the PL100 is being retired. And if you want to hear my thoughts on that, I have a video about the retirement. Instead, what Microsoft is using instead is Microsoft Applied Skills. So this is an online assessment which doesn't have all of the proctoring, for instance, that a full exam would do. Now, exam is all about questions. So quite often, multiple choice questions. The Microsoft Applied Skills, however, it's all about doing. So if I go into the Microsoft Applied Skills and then click on the Microsoft Applied Skills link, and again, browse applied skills, you can see that at the time of recording, there are 19 skills. Microsoft intend that there are many more, more than the number of exams, for instance. And they're going to augment this in the short term with Fabric. However, looking at the Power Platform, if I click on the Power Platform, you can see that there are three Microsoft applied skills, which are for the Power Platform. Power Automate, Canvas Apps, and model-driven apps with the Dataverse. So if I click on any of these, then you can see, for instance, for the model-driven apps, then we've got create and configure 
data first tables, modify a data first solution, modify forms, modify views, and configure a model driven app. So how do these three Microsoft applied skills compare with the PL100? Well, for me, it's at the same level, but it's a much narrower set of skills. Even the three between them do not go into anything like the broad range of skills that you need for the PL100. However, it is at the same level and is going to be the way forward after the PL900, especially in July 2024 and later. So what is after the PL100 or the Microsoft Applied Skills? Well, that would be probably the PL200, which is all about the Power Platform Functional Assistant. So this goes deeper into the Power Platform. For example, it looks at Power Pages. So you can see here, configure the Dataverse, create apps, create logic and process automation and manage environments. So for me, the PL200 is a follow-on from the PL100. It's a much bigger step if you're using the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment Store. If we have a look at the study guide, then we can see that it includes configuring the Microsoft Dataverse, using model-driven apps, Canvas apps, Microsoft Power Pages, that wasn't there in the PL100, Cloud Flows, Business Process Flows, and much more. Now I say it could be the PL200, but there is an alternative route after the PL100, and that's the PL400. This is the Microsoft Power Platform Developer. So this is for you if you want to expand things such as the model-driven apps using code. So JavaScript, TypeScript, C Sharp, for example. So if we have a look at the study guide, then you can see we are looking at creating a technical design, configuring Microsoft Dataverse, and creating model-driven apps, Canvas apps, but extending the user experience using client scripting and the Power Apps component framework, and then creating a Dataverse plugin and custom connectors, among many other things. And then finally, we have the PL600. So this is right at the end of the certification journey. So this is the solution architect. So for me, this is the logical next step after the PL200, not necessarily the PL400, the knowledge of that will not hurt. So if you look at the study guide, then we have got things like perform solution envisaging and requirement analysis, architect a solution, including integrations between Microsoft Power Platform and Dynamics 365 apps and Microsoft Azure, and implement the solution. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that this will help you on your Power Platform journey. So start off with the PL900 and then go to the 100 or the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments and then either the PL200 or 400. There is also the PL300 which goes into some depth in the Power BI. Now, if you'd like some assistance on your journey, then I hope you'll visit our website, I Do Data. So if we go to the Power Platform and Dynamics 365, you can see that we have got video courses on the PL 900, 100, 200, 300, 400, as well as the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment. So to find out more, please go to our website, idodata.com and see what you can learn. In the next video, we'll have a look at the retirement of the PL 100 and we'll go into more detail about the PL 100 and the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments and see how they compare. If you want to see that video, then please click on that video on the end screen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then why not click like? And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. And please add a comment if you've got any ideas for future videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.